my name is Mackenzie and today I'll be taking you through a quick 10 minute lower body interval workout. So for today you're just going to need some light weights whether that's dumbbells or just household items. I have two 10, 10 pound dumbbells here but depending on what you want today you can go lighter, you can go heavier. I just want that you can maintain the movements for the entire time that we're doing them. Okay so we're going to go ahead and start with our warm up. We'll do each thing for about 30 seconds and so we're going to start with a lie, wide legged stance then we're going to tap in front, middle and behind for about 30 seconds just warming up those hamstrings and throughout today feel free you can go faster than me you can go slower than me Whatever is going to work best for you today. Now let's go touch the ground, arms overhead, still in this wide legged stance. Really think about squeezing the glutes at the top, making sure that our knees aren't falling in either. We want to keep them rotated and out. Work. Now staying in this wide leg, we're going to transition to side lunges, so sending the hips back, going over to one side, and then switching. If you want, you can point the opposite toe up. We just want to make sure that our knee is going out, it's not falling in, and that we're keeping it behind our big toe. Ten seconds left here. Next, we're just going to bring our legs in for a normal air squat, so feet shoulder distance apart, toes slightly out, chest nice and tall, send the hips back, knees out, and just air squatting like this for 30 seconds. Five seconds left. Work. Okay, grab some water, stretch anything else you need to, and when you feel ready, if I'm still going through our movements, feel free, just hold the bottom of an air squat, so chest high, knees out, and just hold here in an air squat, keep those thighs nice and warm, but in the meantime, grab water, stretch, then if you want to, you can do that air squat hold, but I'll be going through our movements for today. So today our format is going to be three rounds of five movements, each of them being 30 seconds. So our first movement is going to be squat jumps. Here we're going to work on the legs a little bit, but we also want to get the cardio going. So feet about shoulder distance apart like we were with our air squats. The only difference here is that at the top of the air squat we are going to jump off the ground. So coming down and springing off the ground, really opening the hips fast to get that spring off the ground. Modification to make it a little bit to soften the impact would just be coming down and a calf raise. If you want you can also add your weights for this movement, either holding them up here or down at your side, just coming down and springing up just to add a little bit more challenge. Our next movement is going to be good morning, so we're going to get a slight bend in the knees. We don't want them to be straight, slight bend in the knees, hinging at the hips, so keeping the back nice and flat. We're going to come down until you feel a stretch in the hamstrings, and then just come back up with the weight or without. But I like to say it's almost like a hamstring stretch, and then you're sore the next day. So we're not. We're not rounding at the back or bending the knees to come down. We just have that slight bend and then it's just all hinging at the hip, going down as far as you can without rounding your back. And then the next movement is going to be alternating lunges. So you can either have your dumbbells at the sides or up here, or if you wanted to get crazy, you can also go up above head, up above your head, but we're gonna lunge out and back just switching legs. So a key point for those is we want to make sure 
that the knee is over the toe. We don't want the knee to be coming forward, or sorry, knee over the ankle. We don't want the knee coming forward or being too far back. And we also want it to be directed over our pinky toes. We don't want it to be falling in. And then our last movement is going to be calf raises. So just coming up, falls of the feet and back down. You can do this with or without weights. If you need to, you can also come to a wall for support. We're just trying to raise up as high as we can and control the lower down. So for all of these movements, the modifications are just gonna be going down in weight or using no weight at all. Ramping it up would just be adding more weight or going faster. But let's go ahead and get started again. It's three rounds of those movements. After the calf raises, we'll have a rest. So because there's no rest between movements, we wanna make sure that we're trying to transition as quickly as possible to take advantage of our time here since it is so short. Okay. We have three rounds, 30 seconds each movement, and then that's it for today. So let's really try to push it here. Let's start with those squat jumps again. You can do with or without weight. So let's start in three, two, one. Try to find a pace that you can maintain for the entire 30 seconds. We don't want to sprint for 20 and then do nothing for 10. Over halfway, nice work. And again, modification, just doing squats with calf raises. Three, two, one, good mornings. So grabbing those weights, keeping the back nice and straight, feet hip distance apart, just coming down on the stretch, coming back up. Over halfway. And then we have our lunges. And lunges. Another thing with lunges is we want to make sure that our feet are on railroad tracks. We don't want to be on a tightrope. So that means I'm stepping out and forward, not just directly forward. Three, two, one, calf raises. work about halfway for the next two rounds for the calf raises you can also have the option you can do single leg so instead of both you're balancing on one leg and just going up and then switching the next round but rest we have 30 seconds here use that first round as a bit of a gauge to say okay what could I go faster on what could I go slower on? What could I maybe add more weight to? What do I need to take more weight away? Because the goal here is that we're moving consistently for the entire 30 seconds. We don't, like I said earlier, we don't want to sprint for 20 and then do nothing for 10 because we have a 30 second interval, not a 20 second. And let's get started back at the top again for round number two. Squat jumps in three, two, one. Halfway, nice work. Three, two, one. Grab those weights. Transition quickly to good mornings. Halfway, nice work. Really 
really think about sending those hips back hard and lunges. Halfway. Can you have that option? Just do one leg for this round and then one leg for the next. This is also working on the balance a little bit. Over halfway. Three, two, one. Rest. Okay, we're about to start our last round. Nice work so far, but let's try to make this last round our best one yet. Grab water if you need it. We have two more minutes of continuous work and then we're done. Starting in five seconds with those squat jumps. In three, two, one. Really make sure that we're sending the knees out hard here. We don't want them falling in. Nice work, keep moving. Over halfway. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good mornings. Like I was saying in the last round, make sure we're sending the hips back. We're not dropping them down. We're sending them back. Keeping the back straight. Less than 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Lunges. Nice work here. These are our last two movements. Three, two, one. Calf raises. Make sure if you did one leg last time, you're switching and doing the other. It's also important that we're controlling the breath here. Halfway. Three, two, one. Put the weights down, grab some water. Thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure you get a good stretch in after this. My name is Mackenzie, and we just did a quick lower body and overall workout. I hope to see you again next week.